You're going to notice this blue line come into the picture. When we showed it to you last week, we were talking about the actual surface freezing line. We're expecting our surface temperatures to stay above freezing. It's just a few thousand feet above our heads, the 2500 foot line. Okay, just bear with me here that we see the temperature fall below freezing. As that moves into the area, that's going to allow some of the rain droplets to begin to mix with some snowflakes. Notice by 9 a.m. that 2500 foot freezing line is right near the central areas, and that's why we see the changeover occur to maybe some snowflakes mixed in with the rain. Now again, I mentioned the surface temperatures are going to remain above freezing. The road temperatures well above freezing. Yes, they'll be colder tomorrow, but we're not expecting impacts out of this system. There's two o'clock. Notice how the precipitation still may have a snowflake or two mixed in. That'll begin to clear out after five o'clock for tomorrow, and we'll be left with decreasing clouds. And as a result of the clouds clearing and the wind turning calm into Sunday morning, we've got lows down into the middle and the low 20s. So a very cold start by Sunday morning. So the first half of this weekend, definitely a lot colder. Adjustments made to the temperature. We're going from 40s to the 30s into the afternoon hours. Sunday is nice, 61. Then we warm up again next week near 70 Monday and Tuesday. We've got a storm threat Wednesday night into Thursday. Those may be on the strongest severe side, so we're going to watch for that closely as well. And deep east Texas, better chances for some showers may have a snowflake or two mixed in, but then things dry out and a wonderful second half of the weekend is ahead.